insulin plan for diabetes. We're going to talk about the benefits, the risks, and the side effects. There are many diabetes control claims made about this insulin plant. Are they true? What are the side effects of insulin plant and what are the downsides of it? Better to know earlier than later, right? Is insulin plant the best diabetic supplement out there? What does insulin plant do to your body? Does insulin plant really work? And finally, where to buy it if you want to really want to buy it. Keep watching this video. You will hear some partially true claims. Number one is the blood sugar levels of all patients who took insulin plant leaf powder improved significantly. That is partially true, okay, but not all true. Insulin, all insulin patients were able to cut their insulin dose in half. Again, that is a kind of a false claim, partially true. Even patients who had previously failed to control their blood sugar levels with oral agents, oral antidiabetic agents such as metformin or glipizide and some non-allopathic medications, etc., they were able to do so, control their blood sugar with insulin plant. Again, some studies or some people claim that this is 100% true for everyone. Now, what plant is really used for insulin? Insulin plant is known as Coctus igneus, which is a plant native to India and is a member of something called Costaceae family, okay? I'm not be great with the pronunciation, so forgive me on that. It is named as, a, you know, as a diabetes fighting plant and consuming the leaves can actually help to lower blood glucose levels. And diabetics who have consumed the leaves have reported seeing a mild drop in their blood sugar levels. Now, let's find out how it is proposed to work. What does insulin plant do to your body? The insulin plant is really small. It's a flowering herb that has been used for, again, for medicinal purposes for centuries, right? But more recently, studies have shown that this plant can be beneficial for people with diabetes because of the active ingredient in the insulin plant is a chemical called hypoglycin. The substance helps to convert sugar into glycogen, which is then stored in the liver and the muscles. When the blood sugar levels drop, our body usually uses the glycogen for energy. As a result, the insulin plant in some people help to lower blood sugar levels mildly and provide relief from symptoms like fatigue and dizziness if you do have so. For people with diabetes, the insulin plant may be, for some people, an effective natural option if you want to try at least once. Does it really, really work? I would say there is no definitive answer to this question as the efficacy of insulin plant varies from person to person and from manufacturer to manufacturer. Some people report that taking insulin plant has helped to regulate their blood sugar levels, while others find that it has done nothing. There is some scientific evidence to suggest that insulin plant may be effective in treating diabetes in a minority of patients, but again, more research is needed to confirm these findings. If you're really considering a supplement that will work much better, consider SugarMD Advanced Glucose Support because we know, at least I know, that it works for 95% of patients. Super Berberine, again, is another great supplement that has been studied more and has more consistent results. What are the disadvantages of taking insulin plant? Well, the biggest disadvantage of taking insulin plant is that you need to take three grams twice a day. Well, that's a lot of pills to remember to take, okay? And it's a lot of amount of stuff, uh, of, of herbs. And you have to mix them into a drink and drink that twice a day. Well, that may be a real chore, okay? Especially if you don't like the taste of the drink and you are forced to drink that twice a day, you know, that may not be the best thing for you. If you are not careful, you may end up with low blood sugar levels, which can be dangerous as well. So it is really important to be disciplined about taking your insulin plant uh, uh, mixtures every day if you want to do it. Um, and of course, you have to be watching for the side effects. 
It can also cause side effects such as stomach upset, diarrhea, and dizziness. Now, most importantly, it interacts with some blood thinners. Okay, so if you're on blood thinners, you have to be careful about that. So again, it is not a bad idea sometimes to consult with a doctor who understands, you know, some herbal signs at least. And, you know, you may want to look at the potential benefits. Uh, we know that there is more research is needed for this. Uh, if you are really curious and want to try it, I don't think there is any harm uh, trying carefully with checking your blood sugars. But if you're looking for a safer and better alternative to control your diabetes, again, look no further than SugarMD Advanced Glucose Support that is designed for safety and efficacy, as well as super berberine. Now, last question. Can I stop taking insulin if I start taking insulin plant powder? If you have diabetes, your body either doesn't produce enough insulin, right? Or it can't effectively use the insulin that it uh, does produce. Since insulin helps regulate the blood sugar levels, you know, as a result, diabetics often uh, need to take some supplements for insulin to kind of work better, just like the super berberine, right? However, if you start taking an insulin plant supplement, you may be able to reduce your insulin use slightly. So if you think that the cost is justified, you may ask yourself, is it, you know, fair enough for me to consider an insulin plan to cut back on my insulin like a couple units? Since there are some patients out there who claim that they stopped taking insulin, which we also see that with SugarMD Advanced Glucose Support a lot. And I can only talk for my experience, since we do not have insulin plant, and I researched it a lot, and we decided not to bring insulin plant to our website for many reasons that I talked about. So, again, is it safe? I would say as long as you are carefully monitoring your blood sugar levels, it should not be a huge problem. But what happens is, if you start taking insulin plant from a manufacturer that you don't necessarily know the exact dose, and you're on insulin, you may be looking for a severe low blood sugar levels. So monitoring will be your best friend. There are a few cases of diabetic coma reported with insulin plant as well. Not to scare you, but it is there. If you are looking for, again, safer alternatives, look for more studied, more tried and tested supplements, make sure you remember to visit sugarmds.com. And I hope you learned something today. And if you did, please write something in the comment, ask questions. Make sure that you visit our uh, Facebook group for more support. Um, the links are all in the description below. So remember to subscribe, remember to give a like and share, and we will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.